In Act Two, Scene Two of Romeo and Juliet, Juliet suddenly appears on the balcony above him and Romeo again speaks of her beauty. He compares her to the sun and states that she outshines the jealous moon. He listens as she speaks to the night. She does not know Romeo is listening. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? She confesses that if Romeo will swear his love, she will no longer be a Capulet. Romeo finally responds, professing his love. Juliet is skeptical of his intentions and they go back and forth. Romeo begins to swear to her, but she stops him, worried that everything is moving too fast. He reassures her and the two confess their love again. Called inside by the nurse, Juliet leaves and returns offering herself in marriage. If he agrees, she will send someone in the morning to verify his love. They discuss making arrangements for their wedding. They exult in their love for another moment before saying good night. Juliet goes inside and Romeo leaves to arrange the ceremony with Friar Lawrence. Romeo's first metaphor to describe Juliet's beauty is a light in the night that eclipses the beauty of the moon. Ideas of light and night are both associated with love in this scene. Their love is both a benefit to them and a destructive force. In contrast, Juliet dwells on Romeo's name and identity, not his beauty. She makes a distinction between Romeo's name, Montague, and the real person. She concludes that Montague is not a part of the real Romeo. At this point, she can't see Romeo, so for now, her love is not attached to his beauty. In this scene, voice is more powerful than beauty, at least for Juliet. The metaphor of the bird at the end of the scene is a complex one. It both describes their ties and compares Romeo to a poor prisoner. Juliet says that she would likely kill him with much cherishing. Her words foreshadow perfectly the events to come later in the play.